What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. And today we got the MTB box in the mail. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna unbox it. We're gonna open it. We're gonna talk about some baits that are inside of it. And then you know what? Because I'm such a nice guy, I'm gonna give it away. And if you stay tuned, I'll tell you how to win it. Let's do it. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. This is the Bee Fishing Channel. My name is Brett and I run the channel along with a couple of my buddies. Um, Chris is one of the main partners on the channel and y'all will probably see him in and out of a couple of these videos if you hang around and, uh, you know, watch the content that we're creating. I do wanna say that I am not sponsored by MTB in any way, unfortunately. MTB, what are you doing? I do this every month. We got a growing channel. Come on, hook a brother up. This comes out of the channel budget every month. Um, we budget for it and uh, we give it away. I give, I got two boxes each month. Um, they're usually identical. Um, I have not opened this one yet. We're gonna take a peek inside. This is gonna be the giveaway box. I've already got my box. Have I even opened my box yet? No, I have not, because it's still sitting on the island in my kitchen. But we're gonna open this one up. I'm gonna turn you all around, get a sneak peek of this as I open it, and uh, we'll talk about the baits and talk about uh, how you can win it. So let's, let's do it. All right, so we got you guys turned the proper way, and uh, we're looking down at the box right now. I've got the old, the old box cutter here. We're gonna crack this guy open real quick. Whew, nice clean cut. Alrighty, so let's always, as we when we open these boxes, let's start out with the sticker um, before we take a sneak peek. Oh, nice little catch coast sticker. Looks like that. Uh, it's like a. It's like a. What's what's the uh, siding? Is that it? You know, with the. Looks like a catch coat for siding there. All right, so we're gonna set that off to the side. Uh, Y'all can get that sticker, throw it on your kayaks, throw it on your boats, throw it wherever. Um, we've also got the dibble. Uh, that's just tips and tricks. And here is the card. Um, ooh, my microphone is making it very difficult to read this card. So we're gonna move the mic just a little bit. Uh, but basically it looks like we've got a, uh, a Vexen bait, we've got a Z-Man uh, spinner bait, uh, Hedden, um, I don't know what a dart spin is, I guess we'll find out. So let's get in this and uh, uh, start from the top. Let's start with this Vexen Fat Boy, which is gonna be this fella right here. The, uh, the Vexen Fat Boy, you know what, hang on just a second. All right, that should be better. Now you've got more light to actually see these baits. I couldn't do it. That microphone up above you was, it casts a big shadow. So we're actually using my little lapel mic, so uh, you should be able to hear me better also. So this Vexen Fat Boy is the Deep Thud series. It is a square bill, uh, four foot running crankbait. I like it. I like the, uh, it's got a dark back to it. Nice sh bit of chartreuse right there. A little bit of red. I can dig it. So here's the deal. The square bills are so effective in structure like wood and brush and dock pilings. You can really knock this off some dock pilings. You gotta remember these fish are starting to fatten up for uh, the winter. So we're in the fall right now. They should be chasing shad. This would be a really good crankbait to use in some muddy water with just a little bit of chartreuse in the dark back. Should cast a pretty good silhouette. And plus, you can knock it off stuff and if you listen, it's got a nice deep rattle in there, which is probably why it's called the deep thud, because it's got those nice rattles. I can totally dig it, it's a half ounce uh, square bill. Um, that one will definitely work, bouncing it off some cover as these fish are getting ready to chase these shad. And in some areas of the, the country, they're already going through that. Um, where I'm at, we're still seeing 78 degree water, so uh, still a little bit warm, but we're getting there. All right, up next in the box, we have the Z-Man Sling Blades Spinnerbait. Really, really like the look of the spinnerbait just straight off. We got the nice willow leaf blade in gold and then the silver Colorado small little blade right there. We've also got a chartreuse patterned and skirted with a little bit of clear white skirt there. Um, I do like the bait keeper. It's got a really nice bait keeper right around where my finger is. I hope you guys can see that. It's a really nice bait keeper hook on there um, just to keep your trailer in position. Um, it's got VMC hooks. It is a three quarters ounce spinnerbait. 
Um, and you gotta remember, this time of year, they're gonna be pushing and moving shad. They're gonna be schooling. You throw this in there, this is gonna look like multiple baits. This was your Alabama rig before there was an Alabama rig. That's what makes a spinnerbait so effective. You get these blades moving. It already kind of looks like a bait fish flashing and it moves so much water. Obviously a Colorado blade moves more water than the willow leaf, but the willow leaf will definitely work. I prefer a willow leaf unless I'm in super, super stained water. And the fact that this is gold and chartreuse tells me you can use this in a light stained water. You don't have to go white with silver. Uh, really good looking bait. Really like that bait right there. Up next, we have the Hedden Chunkin Spook Jr. Now I love spooks. Spooks are, are really kind of an old school topwater bait. Everybody goes whopper plopper now, frog. Um, you've also got s several other type of, you know, the new spider that came out by Lunker Hunt. Everybody's making all these crazy topwater baits. Why not go with the old Spook Junior? It's a good walking bait. It's got saltwater hooks on it. I mean, this thing is an absolute killer and has been for years. Um, so Golden Shiner is the color. Uh, it's a three and a half inch half ounce bait so you're really going to be able to chunk this um, and you're going to get some nice walking action on it um, pretty decent hooks i wouldn't say the greatest but fair hooks on this thing um, this is a classic guys this is a classic the spook junior um, i can definitely dig this because the top water bite in fall is perfect so get a good walking bait like this and uh, you're gonna you're gonna catch them so good good bait right there all right, up next we have the Hyper Elastics Dart Spin, which is gonna be this guy right here. Really, really fat bait. It looks like you only get two of these in this pack. But basically what you've got is just think of it like a soft plastic swim bait. You're gonna put on a weighted hook. Um, you're gonna run through the nose, pop out a little bit, um, stick that weight down here in the belly. You can kinda see right there where it's got the spot cut out for it. Bring your hook tip right there. Um, and it's also got this nice little, instead of like a paddle tail, um, which you would have on what I traditionally like throwing, which is those boot tail paddle tail swim baits, you've got a nice little spinner back here, a nice little willow leaf, willow leaf spinner. Um, and that is going to create some water movement, get the fish interested. And I like the pattern, it's white. Um, you can use this in some pretty clear water. Uh, this is gonna catch you fish. I'm really interested in this. This is something I would not normally buy. Um, so I'm glad Mystery Tackle Box threw this in here and I definitely want to give it a send. It's a five and a half inch bait. Um, and I'm guessing that's from tip to the end of the spinner. Um, but yeah, it's a five and a half inch swim bait, but it's got a spinner on the tail as opposed to like a boot tail, which we're about to talk about here in just a second on this next bait. The only thing I'm worried about, if I could shed one little, you know, cast a cloud over it and damper it, a lot of times with these baits, the fish either attack from the back or they attack from below. Um, with this being such a big bait, you're gonna, it's a big bass bait. Let's just keep that in mind. But it being a five and a half inch and having the spinner behind it, um, I'm worried you may get some uh, short strikes where they come up and try to take the tail. And uh, yep, never get to the hook. But it does look like it's uh, really wound down in there with that spinner and you can actually unspin it. So once the soft plastic goes, you can actually unspin this uh, spinner and put it in something else. So. I kind of dig that, but yeah, it's definitely a big bass bait, this one right here. Up next, we have the brand new, out this month, 10,000 fish, Shimmer Swimmer. Um, we have all know the Shimmer Shad, which is this guy by Catch Co. These nice little drop shot Shimmer Shads that I really like, they got the full in the middle. Well, now they bring it back and add it a boot tail to it. So this is the, uh, oops, upside down, there we go. This is the uh, bigger size, it's a three and a half inch, which is like the perfect size to throw as a trailer on like a chatterbait, which again, if you're using a boot tail on a chatterbait, we could get into the argument of is it actually really putting off more water or are you really just doing it for the look? I do it for the look. I actually do use boot tails on my chatterbaits, but it really doesn't displace any more water. The blade's the thing doing the, the, the work. You can put this on the back of a spinnerbait. It would fit fine on the back of a spinnerbait. Uh, maybe not this one. I'm really matchy-matchy on my colors, so I would try to get a white or a chartreuse swim bait to go on this, but you definitely could. Or you could put it on a weighted hook and just throw it as is. That would also work. I really like this. Again, you, you're starting to see all these moving baits come into play because of fall. So we've got, this is a moving bait swim bait. Again, you're trying to imitate shad. That's what their biggest forage is this time of year. 
and they're they're starting to school them. So you got to find those schools. You got this the shimmer swimmer. You got your square bill. You got this swim bait with a spinner on the back. You have your spinner bait. You've got your heading as top water. Uh, they got you covered, but it's all moving baits until we get to this last one. So moving on, we have the sweet spot tackle shooter, which is this guy right here. And uh, this is gonna be your, they're moving back deep. The bite's really slow. Um, we just had a cold front come through because remember we're transitioning into fall. Fall, it gets these really weird sporadic cold fronts and it heats back up a little bit then another cold front. And eventually it just, you know, you're in winter. But when you get those cold fronts and the bite's really slow, if you don't think it's time to pull out a drop shot, uh, you're wrong. So this is a nice little drop shot bait. This looks like it is in a pumpkin or a green. It's actually a green pumpkin. I can see a little bit of the green in there. Does it actually tell me what color? Uh, of course not. Why would it need to? But this is a green pumpkin drop shot bait. Um, very similar to like a leech, um, at least in the head because it's, you know, got that flat bottom. Uh, but you would hook that little drop shot hook right there. And that tail is so flimsy back here. You're going to get so much action on it. It's a natural color. Good for clear water. You can just give that a shake as you pull it on the drop shot. And uh, you don't think a bass is going to come up and munch that up. You're wrong. So on those days when the cold fronts come through and it's super, super tough fishing, uh, drop shotting. Uh, I really, really like that. That's a good little bait right there. And the last but not least, we have the Dai Chi Assorted Worm Hooks. I believe that's how you say that. Dai Chi Assorted Worm Hooks. It says the world's sharpest hooks. I mean, it doesn't say Gamagatsu, so I, I question that. Um, and it looks like we actually have three different variations. It's an assorted worm hook. It's or three. It says worm hooks, but it's assorted three pack. So let's take a look at these really quick. So we've got, that looks like a, maybe a two aught. It's not very big. Wide gap hook right there. And uh, then we've got our normal straight shank worm hooks. And then we've got an even bigger straight shank worm hook in red. So those are the three hooks they sent us. Again, I like the assortment. It's not bad. Um, I could see this guy, this guy, because it is a smaller, eh, it's still maybe a little too big. No, that's about right. That's about right if you wanted to use this is a uh, hook on a uh, like weightless and go weightless with one of these guys. And I bet you, is it is it big enough? Again, I would use some sort of, yeah, it's a little too small to be honest. It needs to be a little bit bigger to go on these guys because these guys are freaking huge. You can use these for all sorts of stuff. Worm fishing is not going away in the fall. Actually, it heats up as well. Um, but really your moving baits are what's gonna get you in the fall if you can catch them when they're pushing all those shads. So let's get, boxed back up here um, get it all packaged back up for you guys so we've got the assorted worm hooks in backwards order we have the drop shot baits these nice little green pumpkin drop shot baits uh, the 10,000 fish shimmer swimmer um, really really like those I think that's gonna be a killer bait uh, we've got your big swim baits with the uh, spinner tail on the end we've got the spook um, we have the spinner bait, and then we have finally, last but not least, your square bill crank bait. So let's get this boxed up, and we'll tell you how to win it, and then uh, we'll get out of here. Hopefully, I have not wasted a ton of your time, and uh, maybe you'll be lucky enough to win this thing. All right, so you're probably sitting there thinking to yourself, um, yeah, this is all great. It's a really good box, and I really like the box. I would really like to win that box. Can you please tell me how to win it? Well, here's how we do it on this channel. Number one, you got to smash the like button. Like the video, that's number one. Number two, hit the red subscribe button and turn it gray. The optional part of that is if you wanna hit the ding dong notifications, all it does is send you an email anytime I drop a new video. And last and most important, go to the comment section and tell me which bait in this box was your favorite. And be sure to include the hashtag, be fishing. That's all you gotta do, hashtag be fishing and what your favorite bait is and you're entered. That's really only three things. That's the like, comment, subscribe, you know, your standard YouTube stuff. And here's what we're gonna do. After you do all those three things, all I need you to do is check back on this video on this date right here. We'll put a date on the screen right here. It's probably gonna be a week from today and uh, I'll give it away on that day. Here's how I give away the baits. What I'll do is I'll pin the comment who wins. So you'll get an email from YouTube telling you your comment was pinned. Um, and once you get that, you need to come back to the video, respond, 
and uh, I'll tell you how to win it. Um, or not how to win it, but you know, how I'm gonna ship it to you because I need some stuff from you, like your address and stuff like that. I can't just throw it and hope it finds you. Also, if this is the first video you've ever seen from us, go check out a couple more. Again, all you have to do is be subscribed to win the to win the giveaway. Once the giveaway's over, if you don't like the channel, you can hit the unsubscribe button. It's not gonna really, well, it does really actually hurt my feelings. But no harm, no foul, that's the name of the game. You just have to do those three things to enter. And once you are entered, I will confirm your entry by hitting the heart button. So once your comment gets hearted, you're entered in. Um, don't enter multiple times. You can if you want, you can comment multiple times, but it's not gonna raise or drop your chances. All you need is one comment. That's it. Try to keep it fair for everybody. Again, I really like the box. I hope you guys did too. I hope you guys liked the video. I'm actually, for, for me personally, out of this box, the thing I'm most excited about, if you want to be just straightforward with it, it's probably gonna be one of these two guys. I can't decide. I like this one for the newness factor um, because they just came out with this this month. It's a Catchco product. Again, I'm not sponsored by Catchco or Mystery Tackle Box. I'm right here, Mystery Tackle Box. Just waiting. Come on, Catchco. I'm right here. I like the fact that they included this in the box. I do like the color of blue. Um, I really could have gone with a natural color too. The natural colors are really, really good looking color. And this one's just intriguing. That's the whole purpose of Mystery Tackle Box, get things you wouldn't normally buy. And I, I really like it. I could do, if, I really kind of wish it was that three and a half, four inch um, range, but five and a half inch, something I wouldn't normally buy. That's the thing with Mystery Tackle Box, wouldn't normally buy it. I want to try it. Let's throw it in the water, see if we can catch anything with it. Well, that's just gonna about do it for this video. We've unboxed the box. I wanna hear what your favorite bait is. You've heard what my favorite bait is. I don't think there's anything else to say, but if you're brand new, go check out some of the old videos. I think you'll you'll like what you see. Um, we've got some really, really good ones on here. Yeah, there's some stinkers, but who doesn't have those on their YouTube channel? I mean, we all they all can't be winners. Again, I will pin the winner on the date below. So hang out until then, watch some bee fishing videos, and we'll catch you on the next one later. Oh,